Let's start with the first one, reduce. If you reduce, you use less. You use less of something. So basically, when we talk about reduce, you don't want to use a lot of something. Remember, our resources are limited. We don't have a lot of resources. I and mean, we do have a lot of resources, but there is a limit on how much there is. So we need to reduce. We need to use less of something. What are some examples? Well, in this picture, of course, you can see somebody is turning off the water. So water is one thing that all of us can use less of. Turn off the water. If you're brushing your teeth at night or in the morning, don't have the water running the whole time. Turn the water on, get your toothbrush wet, then turn it off. Brush your teeth, right? Then turn it on again. But don't have the water running the whole time, right? Turn off. Turn off the water. <clears throat> turn off. Turn off the water. Also, what is another thing that you can reduce? Think about the light overhead. If you're at home and it's night, you have two lights on. Turn off the electricity. Electricity is another thing. Electricity is another thing that we can reduce. So there are many things around us that we can reduce. Use less of something. Turn off the water. Turn off the electricity. Don't keep it on. Okay? So this is a very important way to help conserve our natural resources. What's the second way? The second way is to reuse. Reuse. If you reuse, this means that you use something again. What are some things that you can use again? Well, if we take a look at this picture, we see a very, very interesting thing that you can put on your desk. What is this? This looks like a pencil holder, a pencil and pen holder. This is a very useful thing that you can put on your desk to help organize your pens, your pencils, and your office supplies. What's it made out of? If you look at it, it looks like paper that's been uh, folded into shapes so that you can put your things in. This paper looks like a telephone book. I can see names, dot, 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 and a telephone number. So this is a telephone book that maybe is too old, right? They got a new telephone book. What do you do with the old telephone book? Throw it away? Well, you could make a very interesting uh, piece of office furniture and you can use it to store your things. So this is one way that you can reuse things. And you can reuse old books. In this case, this would be an old book. You can reuse old books, like old telephone books. What's another thing that you can reuse? Well, of course, if you print something, right, people will print something out, you only print on one side of the paper. The other side of the paper is blank. Use paper again. Use the other side of the paper. In this case, you can use the back side. The back side of the paper. So reuse old books. Reuse paper. Use the back side of the paper. If you reuse the things we have, we can use them for a longer time. We can save and not use so many things, right? We can save on the things that we use. So this is a very good idea. This is our second way to reuse. Okay, do you remember the third way to conserve? That's right, it's recycle. Recycle. If you recycle, you make something new from something old. So what does that mean exactly? If we see this cute girl over here, right? She's carrying a heavy container and it has things inside that she is going to recycle. What are those things? We can see plastic bottles. We can see cardboard in the background. So what are some things that we can recycle? Well, one of the things, of course, is plastic. We can recycle plastic, okay? We can recycle paper and cardboard. Cardboard, of course, is a type of uh, paper that's been pressed. So paper, cardboard, cardboard is paper that we press together and it into like a box like this one right here. So plastic, paper, cardboard. What's another thing we can recycle? Of course, cans. So 
when you throw out your trash, remember to recycle these things. Remember to separate those things. So we will separate, separate these items so that the plastic is here, cardboard is here, cans are here. That way the garbage man, the garbage person who comes and takes the garbage will take the plastic and they will use that plastic to make something new. They'll use the paper to make new paper or cardboard. They'll use the cans to make new cans. So, to recycle is to make something new from something old. Okay, so it's a very good thing. We have a video to watch about recycle. Let's take a look. See what's going on here. The teacher is teaching her students how to recycle. Let's take a look. So, what she is saying, she has her things up here, she has her items on the uh, board and she's talking about reduce, recycle, and reuse, I think is what's there. And of course, that's exactly what we're talking about too. And she has a blue uh, bin, a blue bin, a blue container here for uh, things that you put inside there to recycle. Of course, the things that she's going to put in the blue bin are the things we just talked about, plastic, paper, Cans are your most common things that we can recycle. We can reuse those things. We can use the old packaging and make something new from them. Okay, let's move on here. There are a couple of other words we're going to go over. Now, when we're talking about saving natural resources, one thing we want to avoid is pollution. If we don't recycle our things, our old things, what happens? We have to put them somewhere. We have to put them in the land. That causes land pollution, right? Pollution is harmful materials in the environment. So if you have a lot of old rusting cans out in the ground, that's harmful and it doesn't look good either. There are basically three types of pollution, really. There is air pollution, air pollution, right? Air pollution, we also have another type of pollution that is water pollution, water pollution, and we also have land pollution. These are three major types of pollution. If we uh, burn things, the smoke goes into the air. That causes air pollution. If we spill uh, chemicals into the water, if we throw chemicals into the water, we can't drink that water. It makes it dirty. That's water pollution. And if we throw away our cans and our plastic bottles on the ground and we don't care about that, that's land pollution. We have to avoid pollution because pollution is harmful. It's not good for us. It's harmful materials in the environment. Let's take a look at some pollution here. This is terrible, isn't it? If you look at this, this is, this is really bad. Here we have uh, the ocean here, which should be a very beautiful uh, place in nature. Look at that. That's horrible. People have just come here and they've dumped their trash. They dumped their trash on the beach. We have plastic bottles. We have, uh, this looks like an oil bottle, so maybe there's some uh, liquid pollution here, some water pollution. We have old pieces of wood. Uh, some cans laying around, some pieces of glass. This is very dangerous. You wouldn't want to go to this beach. This is horrible. This is terrible. Not just for people, but also for the animals that live in this area. Pollution is very bad. We need to avoid this by reducing, reusing, and recycling. Okay, so this is what we want to avoid. Okay, one of the uh, ways we can avoid uh, pollution, of course, is to conserve. If we don't use as much as, uh, as much of whatever we're using, if we reduce our use, that is conserve. Conserve means to use carefully and without waste. Actually, conserve is very similar to reduce, isn't it? Conserve and reduce are very similar words, but we see conserve a lot when we're talking about the environment. To conserve our resources means to reduce. Don't use so much, right? Use carefully. Don't waste our resources. So turn down the temperature on your heating or your air conditioning. If it's too hot, right, just open a window. Uh, don't wear a sweater, right? Take the sweater off. In the winter time, if it's too cold, instead of turning up the heat, put on a sweater, put on a jacket, okay? Save or conserve 
the amount of energy that you use. Conserve our natural resources. Don't use as much of something. Okay, it's very similar to reduce. Now, before we saw the beach, right? We saw a lot of garbage. We saw a lot of uh, uh, pollution on the beach. This, of course, is what we can call trash. Trash is things that people throw away because they don't need them. There is a lot of different words that mean the same as trash, right? I just used one before, just before, I just said garbage. Garbage is one word that also means trash. Trash is another word for rubbish, so we have another word here. There's lots of different words that mean the same thing. These are things you don't need. So trash is something you do not need. If we don't need it, our natural tendency is to throw it away. Throw it away. But be careful. Maybe we could reuse it, right? So we want to reduce the amount of trash we make. We don't want big piles of trash out in the, in the land. This is land pollution, right? So we want to reduce the trash. Trash is also garbage. Trash can also be called rubbish. Trash, garbage, rubbish. Okay? By the way, your mom might use a very common expression uh, to you using trash. She might say, take out. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. Okay? That means it's your duty take out the trash. When you take out the trash, remember to recycle the plastic, the cans, and the paper. Separate those things. Take out the trash take it out of your home. That's a chore you may have to do at home. Mom will ask you to do that. Okay, let's move on here. We've talked about this before, plastic. Plastic is one of the things that we can recycle. What is plastic? Plastic is a light, strong material made by people. It's light, means you can pick it up easily. It's not heavy, so it's very convenient to make it for our packaging. Plastic is used in packaging. It's a very convenient material to use for packaging. We package things inside of plastic. In this case, it looks like detergent, uh, liquid soap, liquid detergent. But you can also see plastic if you go buy some cookies, right? It probably comes in a plastic container. The tray there the cookies are in, that's also made of plastic. Plastic is very useful. People can make many different shapes out of plastic. You can make so many shapes using plastic, it's a very convenient material. However, the problem is that plastic, if we throw it away, it stays in the land for a very long time. So we need to recycle it or we need to reuse it. Okay, so this is plastic. A factory, of course, we've talked about recycling. When, when we talk about recycling, we, those materials usually go to a factory. But of course, a factory is a building where things are made, right? So if we recycle our cans, those cans will go to a factory, they'll melt the cans down, and they'll make new cans from them. The same thing with plastic, okay? So a factory is a building where they can make many different things, and we need those things to live our daily lives. The thing is, we need to be careful in our use of those things. So a factory is a building where things are made. Lesson 11, Saving Natural Resources. Reduce. If you reduce, you use less of something. Reuse. If you reuse, it means you use something again. Recycle. If you recycle, you make something new from something old. Pollution. Pollution is harmful materials in the environment. Conserve. Conserve means to use carefully and without waste. Trash. Trash is another word for rubbish. This is something you do not need. Plastic. Plastic is a light, strong material made by people. Factory. A factory is a building where things are made.